Okay guys, uh, Honda Odyssey 2018. I just finished installing the side moldings. So that's the tape that's left over on both ends. And that's the template that it came with. And these are the instructions on how to proceed. So I just did this left front side protector and the left rear side protector. Gives you a template A and a template B. Template A is as you see it right there. Oh, I see that. So all this is getting the front left molding on. I did the six mil notch. But since I won't be having the, the side um, protector, the, um, it has the, op the option for um, if you want the door edge film, then you put in the 6 mil. So I marked, as you can see, step number 7 with the door edge guards or door edge film, mark the template A as shown. So I did that 6 mil 0 0.25, 0 0.24 inch right on the template, but since I don't have the, uh, the door edge, I went ahead with step number 6. If, it's, if it doesn't have, if the vehicle is equipped with door edge, then go to 7, but otherwise continue to step 6. So I went to step 6, and I did as the template instructed, line it up right to the... Uh, you can see it lined up right to the tab right there as it is lined it up to template A, A tab so you'll see it right there that's a blown up portion of the left front side protector so the front left so you're facing the vehicle that's your left side so if you're facing the vehicle, this would be your right, and this is your left. When you're facing dead on to the facing the vehicle, so that's your left side. So as the template instructed, uh, use some masking tape. So I went to, with the green tape, the less adhesive green tape. So there's right, there it is right there, those two tabs. And they're perfectly lined up. And don't forget to wash your vehicle first and then you have to apply the, uh, the provided alcohol sw swabs that they provide for. So you do two per sides. So they gave two per door. So one per each front left front rear front left left rear and then there should be another two in this bag I haven't done the right side yet so I still have two so you'll see two packages there and that's all it is to it is wipe it down have your car clean your car wash it up wipe it down 
where to where, align the uh, the te the template first, and then once you figure out where your where your um, side molding should be, then you go ahead and wipe that area, but approximate that side first. So the overview is that's the side that you want to be wiping on. Well, eventually you do both sides, but you have to know where to wipe so that it doesn't dry out quick. So. So they're on already, so this is the finished product. So I just took off this template B, which is the rear molding. So that was lining up perfectly to there. See how that guard is? The edge is lined up. The edge is perfectly lined up there. Imagine that was there before. And that that's how it is so these two edges line up the paper edge lines up with the door the molding that is of the door so you see that nothing to it it's just pretty simple oh yeah the tack the tack stuff there's a trick to it try not to uh, take off all of the tab the, the sticky tabs yet you just peel the front tab and the and the rear tabs of the sticky adhesive as shown in step number five so right there so if you're doing the left front side, the very left front, you peel off the front adhesive backing, so you remove that, the tip. Then then you remove the back adhesive backing, remove it. And now there should be two strips on the side, the top and the bottom. So you remove you don't remove it completely, you just pull off maybe what like a finger length of a finger length yeah you don't really need to tape if you pull enough long enough you're working with more adhesive but if you're careful you just line it up with the template first first of all you dry fit it to see where it's gonna be so then you know ahead of time where it's gonna line up with the template A with template A right at here you know you're gonna be dead on there lining all that up with the paper the paper notches the paper notch lines up perfectly once you do your dry fit there shouldn't be any problem because the edge lines up perfectly there but not necessarily here because of It looks that's how the molding is because the door edge when I did my dry fit this edge lines up completely with this edge and if you move it up and down you, know, you get a slight bit of a arc which runs along the door so the edge of the door lines up completely with the molding the edge of the molding of the door so that template is lining up completely there's no other way around it you just line that up and then this side molding lines up with it so I did my dry fit and that's how it came out and now it says to uh, apply a roller but I'm just gonna use my fingertips and just firmly push on it what I did was I started from the installment started from 
at the door, the mid door, and work your way back for the rear left side. For the front, you work from the middle of the doors, the middle of the two handles, you work your way to the front, pushing all the way. So you just kind of firmly push. I already did this race, so I'm just showing you what I did. And that's all it is to it, really. So, as you continue on, so, so step number 10 tells you apply a rubber roller, but it's just pushing firmly on the middle of this piece, but you don't want that. You want it just slight, snugly firm. You don't want any pressure on the middle piece. You actually want pressure on the tape side so that you don't kill your fenders. You're not pushing on the middle of this. It doesn't do anything good. You want to be pushing on the two side tabs where the adhesive is. So you just firmly press with your fingertips and your thumb all the way to the back to get a nice seal and that's how it is. So and I did my tint. I did a tint on this. Oops. Tint. There's a limo tint that is two percent limo tint. You can't even see inside. So that's the remains of the tape. So as you can see, this is the tape that came out. Once you roll. This is how much I rolled out, as you can see, the rest is coiled, perfectly lined up, because I worked from the middle out to the rear, and then middle to the front for the two sides, and then you get this nice piece of tape. You can see it right there, those are the pieces that are left over. I use some tape as they recommended to tape to tape the masking tape. Using masking tape to tape off the adhesive so that they don't roll back but if you pull enough maybe a finger length if you pull maybe um, yeah this half of a finger length you got enough so that it won't recoil back in so that when you press on it you don't have anything you don't have any tape to grip on so but the masking tape is just if you're you know if you want to apply it right to the front side so that when you put it on you have something to grip onto that's what it's about so you're just peeling back the two adhesive backings and then you can use some masking tape to tape it on, but that's not necessary. Because if you pull enough, then you have enough backing. You have enough peel, peeled back enough so that you have enough to grab on and to rip it all off as you go. So what I did was I continuously molded it. I, I eyeballed it. I eyeballed it. And then I press, as I firmly press, I peeled it halfway both top and bottom halfway, firmly press all the way, came to the stop a bit, kept peeling all, and then I kept peeling right to maybe to this end, near the end, 
push all the way back until that end and then ripped off the rest. So ripped off the adhesive, you would have had a long coil here so you have enough to pull off so you just pull it off. Pull off the top, pull off the bottom and you just continue pressing it on. And the back is tinted too, so I did my own prof professional tint. This is 3M tint at 2% limo tint on top of the, uh, the default, um, the window, the original window that were pre-tinted. The tint is inside the window, so that's the factory tint, and I put an additional limo tint on top of it with the heat resistant um, 3M limo tint. So that's what's on there right now. No tint because the front, you cannot tint the front. Get to the sides. So this is actually getting off topic, but yeah limo tint on the Honda Odyssey 2018 um, EXL navigation EXL Navi so my next one is I'm probably gonna do some uh, rain protection rain guard protection on top of these mm, yeah so here's a here's a, a sun Kind of like a uh, an L-shaped tint that I originally did. It's an upside down L. Just enough so that you can protect yourself from the sunlight that comes on your side. And then on your rear, rear view mirror, you see that it's, that the glare doesn't come into your eye when from the mirror, from this mirror. So there's no glare. It doesn't. When you look at your rear view, it's all it's blocked off by the tint. The instructions is you have to go and print it off yourself or you ask the dealer. I got it at the dealer, so the dealer printed it off for me from and their instructions are were not provided inside the original box that it came in. This is the original Honda OEM package. So there is a uh, disclaimer note saying that Customer information. This, the information in this installation instruction is intended for use only by skilled technicians who have the proper tools, equipment, and training to correctly and safely add equipment to your vehicle. These procedures should not be attempted by do-it-yourselfers. Well, I totally disagree because Anyone that has the high technicality and automotive automotive skills and whatnot skills, um, handy handyman or whatnot skills skills, hand to hand coordination, eye coordination, any type of skills, um, they they should be able to do this. This is like a no brainer, and the instructions are pretty plain and simple. So the template, just to revise the, the review of the template, template A advises of adhesive taping on the side, adhesive taping on the hole in the middle, this little keyhole, not the middle line, it's this 